companies and it's going to have a big in, input into Sport and Exercise Science, how it's developed, the power that they have uh, nationally but also internationally, so they're a very good um, organisation to deal with. We're a very new institution to sports science, um, as you can see this is all very new, so to show everybody what we've got, showcase our facilities, uh, but also show the expertise we've got within our staff um, will be fantastic for the university moving forward and us being recognised alongside bases um, will be fantastic for exposure for the university. I think that events like bases, they allow academics to, to come together, uh, discuss relevant and recent research that varies massively, so in terms of today we've had um, clinical research in regards to influencing respiratory um, rehabilitation um, for uh, patients in hospitals ranging from performance in, in rock climbers so I think you're getting a huge scope of research um, really high profile academics coming in and talking so being able to be held at BCU um, allows for that you know put BCU on the map in terms of holding events like this. Today I talked about a study I did looking at insulin supplementation in rugby players and whether that has an effect on metabolic and inflammatory markers. So having bases today here was really good because they are the leading institution um, regarding sports and exercise science. So it's a great opportunity for us to broadcast the research we do at BCU. Um, it's particularly important because our department is new. It's, um, our courses are only two years old. So it's a great opportunity to put ourselves in the map and show um, the research capacity we have, the interests and how our programs are informed by our research in sports and nutrition.